my priceless treasure. God knows me, God hears me, God is my comfort. I am His and there's nothing better. Forgiven and chosen forever. I am a treasure.
So next song is going to be this. I'm going to tell you the words. You repeat after me. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Let all that I am. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. That's right. So let's do it all together. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let's do it again. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Yeah. All right. So that's how that works. Okay. Easy. Next part is going to repeat after me. Yes. Question? You, oh, aren't they fun songs? Yeah, I'm glad you like them. Okay, everyone. I lost my mic. Oh, the battery might have died. <laughs> it's okay if it did. Yeah, it died. I have a big wait. It's oh, so okay, cool. Do you want to go? Just I'll, I'll make sure it's be fair, okay? So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. With my hands. With my hands. Show me those jazz hands. Show me those jazz hands. Good job. Okay. I will serve you. Like you're at dinner and the servers come to your table, I will serve you, right? Okay. I will serve you. I will serve you. All right. Next part. I love this part. With my feet. With my feet. I will go. I will go. So you're going to like put the feet like this and they're going to go really fast. Okay? Let's try that. Repeat after me. With my hands. Thank you. With my hands. With my hands. I will serve you. I will serve you. With my feet. With my feet. I will go. I will go. With my voice. With my voice. I will sing. I will sing. Of your love. Of your love. That rescue me. Boys and girls, I'm Mr. Travis. I'm not sure what track this is. Let me try that. One, two, three, song number four, song number four. Good job, boys. All right, thank you. Can you say again? It might be. It's okay. I'll, sing, I'll speak nice and loud, okay? That's right. Come on, y'all.
going to be having mac and cheese today for your little snack. Mac and cheese are sometimes called comfort food. Comfort foods are filling and make it, us feel good, such as food, a grandparent or grandparent, which, who also helps us make us feel better when we are sick or feeling down. Remember yesterday when you came to my to my humble abode here, you were in a cave, right? It was dark, and we had um, some guards. Remember, we had some guards posted, and we had that, a signal so they could give us a signal. So if somebody um, uh, came in, they could tell us. Do you remember what the signal was? What was the signal? That's right. Show me your best tweet. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Say. All right. That was our our signal yesterday, huh? And we did have a visitor. Who came to visit us? Say. Was it was it David who came to visit us yesterday? Yeah. 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 He did. He came and visited us, and he talked to you and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Say. Okay. So, so today we're going to be way far into the future now. King David has already been king for a long time and um, he no longer is the ruler. We have King Hezekiah now who's the ruler, okay? And he's in trouble. King Hezekiah, he's a good king. Say, because that's what we want, right? A good king, not a bad king? Yeah? So he's. Um, he's, he's worried about his people and everybody in his kingdom because of a country called Assyria. They're our enemies. And the Assyrian king has sent his army to conquer Jerusalem. I'm saying, oh no! <gasps> Say, because they're just outside the doors. They're going to come in. We don't want them to come in. Right? No, we don't want them to come in. No. Say, we don't want them to fight us, no. They have, the Syrian army, they have chariots, they have axes, they have bows and arrows. Do you know how a bow and arrow goes, you know? Say, can you do a bow and arrow? She's going to good. Yeah! Good job, Good job! Say, but they have really bad attitudes, too. You know what a bad attitude is? What's a bad attitude? That's a bad attitude. My dad always gets in a bad attitude to my mom. <laughs> Say, yeah, it's when you're just in a bad mood, you're kind of being mean, right? We don't like people when we are mean, though, do we? No. We like to be in a good attitude where we're always happy, huh? Yeah. Say, but these guys, this army, oh my gosh, they conquer cities and they take everything. And when they're done, they burn it down. They burn all the buildings down to the ground. That's being mean, isn't it? Say, it sure is. Yeah. So King Hezekiah, to try and help protect us, he gave them lots of gold and silver. You know what gold and silver is? What? It's like money. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I got so much money. Yeah. It's in my piggy bank. It's in your piggy bank? I have money. Money? Yeah. In I your have money. Bank? I in have piggy money. Bank? Wow. I have the most money. Say, I have money. Say, you have money too? I think you guys are pretty rich if you have money. That's a good thing. I have money. I have money. I have money. Listen, listen. Keep listening. We should listen here. Somebody, you lost them. Even giving him money. He, it didn't work. King, Hez, King Hezekiah was still worried and the Assyrian army was going to come and attack. Say, they were going to attack. So we need to find a place to hide to be safe. Where do you think a good hiding spot would be? What would be a good hiding spot? The cave. In the cave, like we did yesterday, huh? Well, yeah. Do you think that would be where we should go hide, like in the same cave as yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, so that way we can't get hurt or 
captured or anything? No, yeah. it's got a it's got a long thing going. Yeah. yeah. And then we closed it oh. up and, and then then I was shooting the arrow down and find yeah. it in. No, cool. no. That's a wonderful say. So King Hezekiah received a little scroll. This is what is called a scroll. Say it has writings on it. It's what was used during his time to send messages. And he got one that had bad news on it that he was going to take to God to show God because they were going to be attacked. So we're going to make a little scroll, okay? We're going to have the ladies come out here and help you. We're going to give you a piece of paper and we're going to make you a scroll. And yours doesn't have bad stuff on it. It's got good stuff. It says you are treasured on it. Okay, wave it in the air so I can see it. Wave it up there high. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got one. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. I know. So I told you, King Ezekiel got a scroll, and it had bad news on it. Had bad news on it. And he took it to God, say, and God loves you and he always hears what you say. So he, when King Hezekiah took the bad news scroll, and he gave it to God, and after God read it, he, um, he um, actually, before God, while God was reading it, King Hezekiah um, said a little prayer. He whispered it, okay? So, can you whisper real quietly? All right, so how about if I quickly say the little prayer, but I'm gonna say it real softly. So you gotta listen good, okay? God, you have all the power and might. Hear our hurting hearts. Rescue us. Yes, we wanna be rescued. So, did, um, so after King Hezekiah said the prayer, God heard him say, do you remember from yesterday when we would say, God hears you, you would answer, you are treasure? You are treasure. That's right. So, so let's try it all together, okay? God hears you. You are treasure. Let's try it one more time, just a little bit louder, though. Can you do it a little louder? All right. God hears you. You are treasure! Say, I like that. So, um, so God sent some comforting words through a prophet, the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah would go around and tell good things to people. So he told King Hezekiah that God says not to worry about the Syrian bullies. God's going to defend them, and he's going to take care of you. As for all your people in your kingdom, they're going to be okay. They're going to have plenty to eat, and your nation will grow and become big and strong. Who can show me how big and strong they are? Ooh, yeah, look at you, yeah, big and strong you are, whoa, I know, yeah, look at that, I love you, children are giants, good to look at you, you're big and strong too, I know, you are, oh, that's so good that you're all big and strong, say, so, the other thing that God does is he also comforts us. Yeah, he likes to make sure that we're safe uh, and we're secure. And that's what he told King Hezekiah, that he would also comfort him, saying, yeah. Oh, that's a pretty, what is that, a butterfly? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty though. Yeah. Okay. So, papers are in front of you, not in your hands. Papers yeah. are in front of Say, you, not in your hands. Keep them in your hands. All right. Not hands. Say, keep it there. Say, so you're going to remember that when you're feeling down, you can look at your scroll 
And it says, you are treasured, and you're going to remember that God treasures you every day. He treasures everybody. Huh? Yeah. Say, is that a good thing? I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Girls, girls, girls. Say, what are you two doing? Say, I don't know. Say, yeah. Yeah. So, did you did you like learning about King Hezekiah today? All right, guys. Today we are going to be making a hug from God. It's going to look a little something like this when you're done. Okay. So, our hug from God craft today goes along with our theme. God comforts us, and what is more comforting than a big hug? For this craft, you will need one folded blank sheet of paper, one tri-folded piece of colorful construction paper, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, a cross cutout, and some crayons or colored pencils just for decoration. First, take your blank sheet of paper and trace your hand with a crayon, pencil, or some colored pencils. Then, cut out your hand tracings with your scissors. Next, glue your cutout hands, one on each side, to the outermost folds of your construction paper, or panels one and three going left to right. Now, glue your cross in the center. Finally, if you'd like to use some crayons or colored pencils to decorate the inside, do so to your liking. Today's game is a water game. For this game, you'll need some buckets, sponges, and water. Grab a partner to form a team. You can have as many teams as you'd like. Place a big bucket of water in the middle of a large outdoor space. Each team also gets a small bucket to put around the big bucket, forming a circle. The goal of this game is to get as much water from the big bucket into your team's bucket. How do you do that? Run to the big bucket with your sponge, soak the sponge in the water, run it back to your team's bucket, squeeze it out, and repeat it until time is called. Have fun! Thank you so much for watching Vacation Bible School. Alright, I'll help, alright?